My friend asked for my help in reverse engineering this air duster. Firstly, I positioned it on a turntable with markers. Using the new Arial M3 3D scanner, I swiftly captured the high-resolution geometry data with invisible laser lines. The resulting SDL file was impressive. Now I could begin modeling with quick surface reverse engineering software. I fitted a cylinder to match the handle shape and extruded 2D sketches on both sides, performed boolean cutting and then added fillets to the edges. After adding a thin cylinder at the bottom, the handle's basic shape was now complete. For the motor body, I maintained left-right symmetry in the sketch and extruded it into a body, and then fit a cone shape on the front before using automatic trimming with two extra planes. Cutting the back with another plane was just very easy too. Utilizing the powerful freeform feature for the irregular orange back cover, I created a shape by paving quads over the scan data. The surface quality was further improved by increasing the quad resolution. Then, using the shell command, I obtained a solid body with thickness. I sketched and revolved the tapered protrusion and added a fillet to the edge. For the radial fins, I modeled one of them by extrusion and duplicated it in a circular pattern to make the rest. The orange cover was now finished. I then added a round hole that contains the knob switch on the handle and added a fillet to the edge. After that, I created the knob with an angled chamfer on a cylinder. The software's real-time deviation analysis helped achieve accuracy. For anti-slip details, I utilized multiple sections in the loft command, trimming off excess parts with two planes, one on the front and the other on the back. This little guy was then duplicated in a circular pattern to form the whole knob switch. In the same manner, I created the nozzle hole by extruding two circles from a sketch. The same goes for the attachment hole in the middle and that small cut on the top. Finally, I made four screw holes and a USB charging port using the same cutting method. The reverse engineering of the air duster is now complete. The 3D CAD model is a perfect match to the scan data. How do you feel about utilizing the Arial M3 scanner and quick surface for reverse engineering?